So it feels like I'm making a huge mistake moving to LA for Josh because he doesn't have time for me. On 90 Day The Single Life, Miss Debbie was super happy after her date with Ruben, but she's really nervous about her son meeting him. Mom always thinks I mean the worst because I'm a realist. Mom does not have a good track record with dating guys. But every time it comes out a total cluster, you know, it's just, I need to know his true intentions. But let me, you know, go on my date today and see how it goes, and then you can talk to him tomorrow. But okay. you gotta promise me not to be hard on I'm him. I'm not gonna be hard, I'm just truthful. Julian wasn't so impressed when he saw his first glance of Reuben. What the hell is he wearing? He look like Ronald McDonald out there. Here we go, just slide on in, whoop. Oh, see, that's how you get in. Of course. Oh, yeah, I got your information now, buddy. Her hat's gonna fly off. He pulls up in this three-wheel car. I mean, mom rides in a four-door closed roof vehicle. That's all right. I got a picture of his tag, and I'm gonna run a full criminal history on this guy. Not getting a good bye by him. Dangerous. Debbie went on her second date with Ruben and broke the news that her son wants to meet him. And actually, he handled it pretty well. You know, I just hope he's not gonna interrogate me like I'm a criminal. Well, <laughs> I hope not either. And I don't want this to be an imposition upon you. And you think, no. oh, Debbie's got too much baggage. No. Her son's a cop. Well, I mean, if it's important to you, you know, uh, well, I'll, I'll meet with him and I'll meet, you know, together and it's awkward, but we'll deal yeah. with it. You know, yes. that's all yes. we could do, right? Right. That's uh, a little bit intimidating, I guess, you know, because it's just our, you know, our second date. It's weird. It's a little early. I hope he doesn't interrogate me. But, you know, if he's here, I, you know, I'm not going to dodge him. Megan went to go visit John in Vegas, and she's standing on business with what she wants out of this trip. And we're going to have a good time and, you know, little by little. Yeah, for sure. My goal out of this trip is definitely to see where his head is at and to make sure that we're on the same page because if John cannot commit to moving to San Antonio after this trip, then we are over. I've been single for seven years now, so I don't take this stuff lightly. And John is really hoping that she gets along with his family. For me, it's important for her to meet my family before I make any big life decisions because I want my family to like her. It didn't work out that way the last time with my ex. Let's just say the family and her didn't get along. Family's important to me, and I don't want that same uh, dynamic. Megan met John's brother, Patrick, who did not hold back when it came to talking about how much his brother doesn't want kids. I've always said, like, I wanted to have, like, two, like, one girl and one boy. Well, John, we John definitely doesn't want one. That's a lot. There's a lot to take in. I'm still taking in everything right now. I didn't know that John was pretty adamant about not wanting a child. It kind of took me by surprise. They're saying that John's, like, another child. Like, I mean, I hope to God that, like, he would never put me in that position. I don't need a man-child. Like, I have my daughter. Can we go forward and not be on the same page? Do I allow, you know, this relationship to continue in general? I'm still taking it in. Ty Ray went on his first date ever with Teresa, and she's really feeling the vibe. Really excited to see Ty Ray. From yesterday, just meeting him for the first time, he is so sweet, and I think talking to him is really easy, and conversation comes naturally. So we have this great connection, and I was vibing with him for sure. They went on a tour of New Orleans together, and some of the topics the guide brought up hit a little bit too close to home. Talk about an interesting tale that involves true crime, murder, uh -oh. mutilation, and <laughs> jilted lovers as well. Oh, now, you guys being on a date, y'all feel any type of way about that? Uh, uh, jilted lovers? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> yes. mean, yeah, definitely. Both of us. <laughs> the tour guide is talking about pretty much me and Teresa's past in a way, which is kind of ironic. You know, Teresa and her jilted lover, he's talking about ghosts, and I got ghosted. Teresa and I are both trying to get the jilted lovers and the ghosts behind us, but maybe they'll stay in New Orleans. <laughs> their guide was super animated during their date, but Ty Ray had another issue, the hot New Orleans heat. Like a man possessed. He grabs that shirt, can I chop, chop, chop. Wow. Uh, yeah. You're not a butcher, are you? No, no butcher here. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah, I promise not to 
stab you with a sugar cane. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's like 105 in New Orleans. I'm sweating, like my shirt is soaking wet. I feel gross. I don't feel like I look my best. So for me, it's definitely a little awkward. Unfortunately for Tyree, it's looking like Teresa isn't into the idea of a long distance relationship, but she does want to keep in touch with him. Uh, I've seen a lot of relationships go south, just being military because we are separated all oh, the time. True. So like right off the jump, trying to be in a committed long distance relationship, I think would be really hard. I understand where Teresa is coming from with the long distance thing, but it is a little disappointing to hear. But at the same time, I do feel like her intentions were good from the get go. I would love to stay in touch with you and, you know, maybe I'll, I'll just let you know next place I'm traveling yeah. and be like, where are you at? Let's go. Tim was out on his date with Louisa and she went in for a kiss and he did not seem into it. In my mind, I'm thinking this is the perfect moment for a first kiss for everything except for the fact that I just ate. It's been a while, like, will she think I'm a good kisser? Like, I, I just have all this shit running through my brain. Okay. Is it okay. Let's see. <laughs> you hit my teeth. <laughs> you did. I want another one. Okay, try again. Natalie and her mom went to a Halloween celebration, but Josh was nowhere to be seen. Natalie's worried that he's been a bit distant lately. My mom seen me go on those three marriages that didn't work out. Every time she was expecting a grandchild, but only what she got is divorce. But this is this time I'm seeing her so upset, and it makes me sad too. So I need to think and make some serious decisions. She's feeling over it and says she's done with Josh. It's hard because my head knows already and my head is clean, but here I still feel. I mean, I'm like, I'm done. He's also feeling uncertain about the future of their relationship. The episode ended with them meeting up. I'm unsure of the future. Hello.